Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Cody Vondell and today we're going to talk about color schemes as we add color to a bunch of the characters that we created on screen last week using my brand new Y2K mascot maker available for just a few dollars over on my Etsy. With nearly 80 assets, there are tens of thousands of unique combinations that you can create, and it's so easy, you'll be making mascots in minutes. Before we get started, just gotta say thank you all so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing my videos. It means a lot that the work that I'm doing on screen is helping you with your design process. And if you're working along on screen with me or you're using some of the templates that I sell, please hop on our Discord server. We have an amazing community over there on the server, all kinds of creatives sharing music, memes, works in progress, free resources. It's a really awesome place to network with other artists. Let's take a moment real quick to check out what everybody's been sharing. As usual, you guys are crushing it, and I'm so thankful to be able to hop on the server every day and just check out all this fire artwork. Uh, if you're not already over there, I hope to see you there soon. If you want to support my channel and get yourself something really cool, make sure to head over to my Etsy. I have a variety of pins, patches, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of holographic stickers, and of course, graphic design templates that will speed up your workflow. And if you like my intro, outro, background music, I create it all, just search Cody Vondell on Spotify or your preferred streaming service. And you can also find me on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. And of course, at Cody Vondell on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. So with all that being said, let's take the characters that we made last week and start adding some color. So you might recognize a ton of these characters that we made on screen last week, but we've added even more. And we're gonna, gonna go ahead and just start adding colors to certain ones that I sort of had imagined color schemes for. And uh, we'll just go in and fill in each one as we're, as we're doing it. This first guy, I know I wanted to have the teal and yellow color scheme sort of inspired by Yo-Yo uh, from Jet Set Radio Future. So uh, yeah, that'll be a good kind of start off. And uh, a lot of my color schemes, I like to do two or three colors maximum. Um, there are certain colors that I know work really well together and those are usually the way that I, uh, I usually typically will take those colors and run with them. So uh, I know this guy, I like oranges and purples a lot together. So I know that if he has that orange hair, we can probably fill in those goggles, make them sort of a purplish color and it'll probably look pretty cool. And uh, we'll fill in these circles with some, some white, just give it a little, little something extra. And that character's looking finished. Uh, I think I want to keep this uh, really simple on the helmet, so maybe just filling in some blues and some whites. Very simple, very easy right there. Who could we look at next? Uh, maybe we can just go ahead and fill in skin tone on this guy, and uh, maybe the fur tone on this cat. Nice orange cat, sort of Garfield-like. Uh, let's go ahead and add some yellow to the goggles, give them sort of a hot color scheme. Cool. And this little mystery character, I think the only thing we're going to change is we're just going to make that uh, X on the forehead red. Cool, kind of continues that mystery thing. We don't want too much color there because it's something about the black and white. I, I like that. So this character, uh, she's a fun, cute little character. I don't really think we need to add too, too much to her. But I think the white sunglasses and the uh, white earrings works. So just getting the skin tone in there and uh, some lipstick color. Same with her. I think uh, sunglasses could be red and the star could be yellow. I think that's a really fun kind of color scheme. It's sort of, sort of hot color scheme. I like that. It works. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of bouncing around here, looking at all these characters and trying to decide which ones uh, I instantly can see colors for. I think this guy would look really fun with like a, maybe a lime green color scheme, uh, lime green and yellow. So we'll put some green on the shades and uh, that line, that little digital line of his, we'll get that outline on it, yellow instead of white. And I think that'll be a finished character real quick. Easy, just like that. We can change the color of the earrings too. So this little alien character, I'm thinking he might look kind of fun with a uh, sort of a purple color scheme. And I think purple often looks really good with like reds and whites or oranges and th those kind of colors. So 
So if we do him purple, maybe that outline on that digital line could be red. Maybe his uh, sunglasses can sort of be like a, maybe an orangish color that, that might work. The more I look at this character, look at those orange filled in. I, I think I want the purple on him to be sort of a, a darker shade. So let's go ahead and add that in real quick. Yeah, I think that purple is working for me a lot more than the other shade. So uh, another character down, colored, cool. All right, so this guy, uh, we definitely know we want that lime green alien hair. And so we'll just get the uh, skin tone filled in real quick and give him that lime green hair. Maybe something like that, just drag it right onto the object. And uh, I think maybe an orange will contrast well with the lime green on this little dude's hair. So we'll do the orange sunglasses. Maybe this guy, red hair, I think that works. Fill in the skin tone there and maybe some detail on his little visor. Like that sort of silver. He's also got a really fun kind of a uh, fire color scheme. So this lady, I think uh, would look really cool as sort of a fire-ish color scheme, a real hot color scheme as well. So uh, maybe we'll do some reds and oranges and yellows on her. So we'll start out with some yellow, make her sort of a yellowish kind of golden blonde kind of feel and some oranges to kind of fill in the headphones. And maybe we'll do the sunglasses red. Cool. And maybe red lipstick. All right, yeah, I'm feeling that character. Uh, we'll put orange right there on that antenna piece. Maybe we can get some of these, uh, fill in this little aqua guy. Cool, so this character, we're gonna go with a full cool color scheme. So it's, uh, it's you know, a lot of cool colors. There's no hot colors at all on this guy. And that kind of works. That character, something about it, just the teal and the purple really works. This guy should be super simple. Sort of an orange helmet, sort of tan skin. We'll get a nice kind of a, uh, pinkish color for the tongue. I think we'll, we'll end up reusing it one or one or two more times. Cool, really simple. That guy was easy. I think the skull character will be really easy. We can kind of color in the sunglasses and the star to match. And I think that hat could be red or blue, but we'll do blue since the character next to him has the uh, red and yellow. And let's get some pink hair on this girl. Her hair just screams pink. So let's go ahead and do it and uh, get these little circles looking cool. We'll add some extra pink right here on the lipstick. And some skin tones, of course. And now that I'm actually kind of coloring the sunglasses on her, it's kind of got me thinking about the sunglasses on this other character that we've done. So we'll go back over here to this guy, make it look a little bit more uh, in tune with everybody else. So we got the thick lines. We don't want our colors touching. We want all the lines worked, worked out in between, looking cool. And we've added some headphones to this character. Uh, something was just not looking right. And then I realized, oh, I forgot to give him the headphones. So there they are, it's official. So this character, I think he's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna give him sort of the, uh, that 90s bleach blonde in the front, but natural colored in the back kind of look. That is a fun look. So uh, let's pick out some, like the right tone for the hair, something like that. That is a fun little character. Cool, he's like so simple. All these other characters are very sci-fi. This just looks like a regular dude. He's got a nice little haircut and earrings. Just a regular guy. She ought to have a really fun kind of uh, color scheme. So we'll go ahead and get the skin tone filled in. I'm thinking some like bright red hair. Something like that ought to look cool on her. And maybe uh, to kind of contrast that red, we can play with some like teals or some yellows. Uh, maybe we can put some yellow in on like the earrings and teals on those little diamonds. Something like that actually looks really cool. And let's go ahead and get this guy feeling cool. I definitely like the dreadlocks and want to add some color in there. So I think purple will look cool. And we might even give a little bit of like a, a yellow, a hint of yellow in there as well. So now we're just gonna go in and select a few specific dreadlocks that we're gonna turn purple. And I think this one right over here will look cool. Yeah, perfect. Time to color baby. So I'm thinking baby blue, that works. Um, get the silver in there on the goggles and the headphones. Boom, just like that. Another cool color scheme. Actually, let's add some yellow in so it's not completely cool. But I really like the way uh, that yellow kind of contrasts with those two shades of blue, or I guess purplish blue, so that works, cool. Uh, let's add some color to this guy. This ought to be a fun little character. I'm thinking like pinks and blues and yellows. 
This is gonna have a really fun sort of neon kind of feel. Just filling in that hat and the hair. So maybe we'll make the hair a lighter shade of blue and the hat a darker shade of blue. I'm thinking maybe some yellow on that star and some pink on that bubble gum. So this is a really bright neon character. I really like the way this color scheme turned out. Cool. Let's go ahead and color in this robot. I'm thinking once again, we'll go with sort of a hot color scheme. So reds and yellows and oranges and uh, maybe a little bit of silver since he's kind of chromed out robot character. Some silver in there on the headphones will look cool. And just touching him up just a tiny bit. And maybe we can make the goggles sort of a, maybe a purplish color would look cool with the orange and red. So let's see how that works out. The orange on the antenna and purple in the goggles. Yeah, definitely that is the move right there. Cool, so we're adding some bright orange. Uh, the other kind of alien looking character we give a real dark purple too. So we'll make this one a bright orange and now uh, we'll use that kind of, uh, we uh, created a tongue pink, there it is. So we'll pull it right out of there and add it to this guy's little goopy tongue right there. Just like that, easy. And uh, let's fill these in. We'll group them and maybe make them sort of a blue or a white, something like that could work. And let's go ahead and fill in these uh, little spots in his eyes real quick. We'll put one right here as well. Turn on the outlines just a bit. Very simple, very cute. That character is really fun because it's like supposed to be sort of like evil looking character, but in the face really makes it goofy. So that's fun. Cool, so we've got one character left to fill in. Let's go ahead and uh, the color that we're actually gonna use here is I'm thinking sort of like lime greens and yellows and oranges, sort of a alien color scheme. Something along those lines. It's like an angry alien humanoid of some type. So just like that, it is that simple. We can take a bunch of characters that we've already created and add color schemes kind of based off of those notes. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of fun content planned that you don't want to miss out on. I've been working on my brand new custom font. It's called Googie, and I'm putting together a video on how I created it and how I'm turning it into a rich text format for other designers to use. We are also expanding the best free font series so that we can look at all kinds of great aesthetics and collections. And if you want to check out some more of my recent videos, I just broke down the story behind this viral vaporwave image that I created all the way back in the mid 2010s. We did a video in Photoshop and After Effects breaking down how I created this hologram CD motion graphic for Adi Shankar's bootleg universe. We did another quick After Effects breakdown on how to get this cool frosted glass effect. And we wrote some digital graffiti in Illustrator and Photoshop. So that wraps us up for today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I can't wait to talk to you on my Discord and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you all.